See, and that's why you can't stop scrolling through what everyone else is doing. Whether it be someone who you're envious of, maybe an ex, maybe just a friend, or maybe it's just someone's life where you go, man, I want that. And so you're down the rabbit hole, comparing yourself to everyone online again, right? Here's a spoiler. It's not going to end well for you. And yes, while it is human nature to compare ourselves to others, it can be extremely toxic. See, it can damage your self-esteem. It can fuel jealousy. It can even distract you from reaching your own goals. And so what you need to do is you need to take time to acknowledge your own unique path. See, you need to count your own blessings to have gratitude for what you have going and where you are going to focus on your self-improvement. And so I want you to understand that you're at a crossroads, right? In your life, you can either choose to compare yourself to people who have more, right? Which will always make you feel inadequate. Or you can compare yourself to people who have less, will no longer give you the motivation to strive to be better, right? Or the better option is you get to begin to compare yourself only to you of yesterday. So you get to look at yourself of yesterday and going, am I doing things better today? Am I using what I learned to better myself? Because if you find the answer is yes, you're on the right path. But if you are looking for those other things, right, those other people, those other objects and events to make you feel better about yourself, it's not going to happen. So start focusing on you and only you.